Hello, my name is Alejandro Duto, and this is another ISDC video. Today, we're diving into the depths of history and exploration with an epic journey to the Caicos Express wreck. As usual, this video will be divided into three main parts. The dive brief, where we get essential information for the exploration, the dive itself as we venture into the depths, and finally, a recap on the history of this sunken vessel. Before we get into the briefing, don't forget to leave your comments, like, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp for more updates. Okay, so let's start with the dive brief. Let's explore the Caicos Express. Located off the coast of Pampano beach in Florida, the Caicos Express, like many other cargo vessels, found its final resting place as an artificial reef. Stretching an impressive 188 feet in length, which is around 57 meters, and 29 feet in width, which is give or take 9 meters, this wreck lies at a depth of 240 feet which is 73 meters, making it a dive that demands the most advanced hypoxic trimix training, whether you're on open circuit or closed circuit rebreathers. The dive itself offers a remarkable sight of the ship as it sits upright and intact, inviting divers to explore its hidden treasures all the way around the wreck. Inside, you will find several large spools uh, of thick cable scattered around the holds. Interestingly enough, the Broward County also added a unique touch to this dive Site. They sunk 160 parimutuel bedding machines just 200 feet away from the wreck. So you can go ahead and, and leave the wreck and explore them as well. With all that said, let's gear up and head to the water. The mast on the bow still remains there, pointing out to the cargo hold where the spools are. As you can see, the ship is upright and intact, and you can see the bridge from the cargo holds. Penetration is possible to the bridge and to the engine room below the bridge. When visibility helps, there are amazing landscapes you can see throughout the wreck. Before we start ascending, we visit the capstans on the bow of the wreck. Lionfish usually use the capstans to hide. Divers make a final tour around the wreck before finally start the ascent to the decompression mandatory stops. Welcome back, I hope you enjoyed the dive. Now let's take a minute 
to talk about the history behind the Caicos Express. It was launched on July 12, 1956 at the Macomb shipyard in the Netherlands under the name the Walborg. By 1974, it was sold to a Greek company and it was renamed the Paleopolis, only to be acquired by the Cox shipping line in Turks and Caicos in 1981, where it finally assumed the name Caicos Express. Beyond its role in transporting cargo, the Caicos Express made a cameo appearance in the iconic television series Miami Vice, specifically in an episode called No Exit, where even Bruce Willis appeared as a guest star. Eventually, its seafaring days came to an end, and it was then purchased by the Broward County and the Pompano Beach Fishing Rodeo, who prepared it for its final voyage to the ocean floor. On November 12, 1985, it was sunk to become an artificial reef where it lies nowadays. And with that, we conclude our dive to the Caicos Express. I hope you all like it. I hope you all enjoy it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and in order to be notified for our next videos. See you next time, and happy diving.